Alright, so, continuing onwards, trying to avoid those things now. You're not a trainer, you are a trainer, alright. You're Caleb. I got one of those bug things. Interesting. Uh, this is another glowing spot. That is a strange creature sucked into the Zygar cube. And uh, is that another Pokemon Center down here? What is this? Is this a town I've been to already? Or what is that? Alright, well, um, I'm going to throw on a repel. Screw it. Alright, now with that out of the way, uh, that is another trainer. And down here, what exactly are you doing? You're like studying your feet or something. I don't know. That had to be one of the worst battles I've ever been a part of. <sighs> I am narrating this. I am narrating this. Um, so basically, you'll see what it was in a minute. But you are a uh, you are an ace trainer, and I suppose aptly named. Um, so you're going to be sending out a Gumi first, and this Gumi is not going to be real the issue. I I'm just going to murder this thing with like a Dragon Rage or two or three or four or five. Um, let's see, uh, to you, I would like to use Dragon Rage, because that's going to be doing a lot of damage. Oh look, Bide! Fun. Alright, well, I don't really have to worry about that, because this is an easy 2 ko KO on you. And, um, Bide is like a 3 turn move, so who really cares about 2 turns? Um, let's see, so this is going to be Dragon Rage. Excellent. And give me one down. And, um, let's see, next... I am going to be sending in, I mean you are going to be sending in, a level 21, double slap. No, do I, do I have any move that's even more useless? Let's go to a sweet sin. Um, just in case. I may or may not use it in this next, like, turn of fight. But anyway, that's a double slap. Uh, although with your physical attack, I don't think I'm going to be using that much either somehow. Uh, Sylveon. Sylveon. Sylveon, we are not friends. I am already not a fan of you. Uh, for many reasons. Anyway. Smog, the first time around, Smog missed several times when I really would have preferred that it didn't, and that didn't poison. You're going to use Draining Kiss, which I don't care because I'm a poison type and I resist Draining Kiss. Um, let's see, yeah, that's uh, very near cancelling out the damage I did with Smog. I'm just going to keep spamming Smog until it actually poisons, which it better be... This does have a chance to poison, doesn't it? Alright, yeah, who cares? Unfortunately, I can't use Dragon Rage on this thing because it is a fairy type, and fairy type is immune to dragon. Um, what? Smog, Smog has a chance to, to, to poison, doesn't it? Or am I losing my marbles? Yeah, it may also poison the target, and it had better poison because I got poisoned by this thing constantly when that battle in the totem Pokemon. Words. Breathing. Alright, so Smog, third time's the charm. As with, like, Pokemon and catching you and stuff. No, apparently not. Fortunately. You seem to be insisting on using Drain and Kiss, and that's like a 6 hit KO on me right now. And I will get you eventually with Smog. Take my word for it. Oh, screw you two. Drain and Kiss. Alright, see what I care. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's upsetting. Are you kidding me? Since when is this funny? Yeah, 1 HP. It only takes 1. You're back to full health and I'm almost dead, but it only takes 1. Alright, so I've used this 3 times on you and it's missed twice. I've used this 4 times on you and it's missed twice. This is better poison. Because probably- Thank you! Finally! It took me long enough. Yeah, see what I care about a Drain and Kiss, because that's only going to restore 1 HP of yours. And, um, and you're poisoned now. So see what I care. Anyway, second in command, for me, is going to be, uh, probably that bug thing. The electric bug, whatever it is. Um, Aragog, that's her name. 
And um, Aragog can go and uh, use several physical moves on you. I don't really care which one. Acrobatics, I think, is going to have the highest damage output because I'm not carrying a hold item. Draining Kiss, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, at least there's the... Uh, at least there's the health you're going to be losing from being poisoned. And Acrobatics. And this is going to do a lot. I may be able to take you down... Never mind. Never mind. Do something dumb. Use, like, one of the other moves. Swift. Draining Kiss. All right, well... Okay. Have fun with that. Um... Let's see, I'm going to use Acrobatics again, and this is doing, like, minuscule amounts of damage. Uh, when combined with the amount of HP you're recovering from Draining Kiss. Do I have anything else I can switch in and resist Fairy type? I have the Zubat, who's been sitting in my party for no reason. Um, except to really, because I haven't been bothered to drop it off at the Pokemon Center any time. Um, let's see. So you're going to use Draining Kiss. I'm going to resist this. If I recall from the last time I tried fighting you. That wasn't very effective either. If I recall from the last time I tried fighting you, I do have Confuse Ray. And Confuse Ray, <clears throat> good. You're taking about as much damage from Poison, a little bit less than you're recovering from Draining Kiss. Uh, Confuse Ray could mean you can use Swift instead. Live! Oh well. Alright, I guess Confuse Ray didn't mean anything because I never got to use it. Uh, fortunately, you also didn't get to heal that turn. Because, um... Um... Uh, you, you used Swift on me instead. Anyway, Noches is going to come in, and the other main problem, well, one of the main problems, because there were like 20 of them that I ran into the last time I tried fighting this trainer, is that Razor Leaf has an increased critical hit ratio, and I used it like four times, and it did not get a critical hit any time. And that's very upsetting. I don't know if the critical hit chance has been nerfed all around in Gen 6, because it sure seems like I haven't been getting as many critical hits on anything as I should be. Oh, thank you, finally. Is that going to take you down? Poison, 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 poison. Thank you very much. Alright, Sylveon went down. That was upsetting. That battle took a very long time. And I'm not entirely pleased about that. Anyway, Noches has grown to level 24. I think I would like to go back to the Pokemon Center after this. Would like to learn Pluck. Do I have any moves that are, like, even worse? Um, Pluck is an all-around improvement over Peck. Uh, it's got almost twice the base power. And, um, let's see. I, I haven't been using Peck very much at all. I've been using pretty much... What's the other move I have? I think I have a ghost move. Have I been, have I been like, spamming Astonish or something like that? Anyway, uh, the bug got a level out of that, too, if I recall, if I was reading. Um, but that was a very annoying fight. I really hope this is a good item. That's a Hyper Potion. All right, so that's not half bad. It's not like a, uh... It's not like a, an item that's, like, special or anything. I wanted to turn around and go back to heal, but I guess you can do this, too. I got a critical hit there when I had absolutely no need for it. Gaven. Alright, let's see. Um, hopefully there's no more no more no more trainers up here who can kill me. And this is a TM containing brutal swing. That is not a move I am familiar with. Uh, let's go and go into the TM's pocket and have a look at this. Uh, TMs can be found here. I believe it was 59, brutal swing. That is a dark type. 60 base power. Um, Crab Brawler can learn it. I think we're going to teach it to Crab Brawler just because it's better than Pursuit. Um, actually, is it better than Pursuit? Alright, well, generally it's going to be better than Pursuit, if I'm able to go first, anyway. Um, it looks like it's an area of effect, like if there, if you're in a double battle, it can hit both opponents in the double battle. Um, from the sound of that description, anyway. But, I don't know, I'm probably not going to keep that move on for the rest of the game, just for the time being, until I learn something better. Um, let's see, is there anything else? This is another Pokemon. Pokeball, Poke whatever. Uh, that's an Aether. Very nice. I haven't had need for any Aethers because there are, like, I'm tripping over Pokemon Centers in this game. But, um, I guess probably late game if there's a Victory Road or a Victory Road-like area in this game, that'll come in handy. Now, the other thing I want to do after I go back to the Pokemon Center is that I would like to go back to the beginning of the route and see if I can fight that boss trainer, the one who said that she'd fight me if I fought everybody else on the route first. Um, because I think I've actually done that for Route 8, and I would like any extra experience I can come by. Let's see. 
I didn't, honestly, I didn't think I would be saying that about Sun and Moon, like, right when I first started playing, that I'd be really desperate for experience, but, um, this game, as I've said a couple times so far, is, uh, definitely fine. This game is definitely more challenging than I was expecting it to be, which I'm very happy about. Um, oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, okay, so, no, Pokemon Refresh. Um, I would like to surf here. Okay, so I can't actually surf here. That was, um, alright, I thought I was able to surf there when, I, when that A prompt came up. Um, alright, so I guess I'm gonna have to do a little bit more exploring of Route 8. Is there anything off to the side down here that I haven't fought yet? Um, I've, I've fought you, haven't I? Pretty sure I have. Yeah, I fought you already. I fought you. I have fought you. Um, I have fought this guy. Uh, was there anybody else? Hmm. Um... Something about fossils. Is this like the fossil yard, or is this also part of Route 8? Uh, where, where does it say on my save? Okay, so this is also Route 8, so I can come down here. And, um, I can possibly fight a few people. You there! Dream Park! Oh, okay. Fossils become Pokémon. If I find any fossils, I have- I know what to do. Um... Wait a minute, are there actually any trainers here? It doesn't look like there's actually any trainers here. Unless you're hiding behind the trailer or something? That's an item. That is a Thunderstone! Cool! I don't believe I found any evolution items so far. Um, you know what? What happens? I don't suppose anybody on my party evolves by Thunderstone. Maybe that bug? Um, Thunderstone. No, the bug doesn't evolve by uh, by Thunderstone. That's going to be another level somewhere. Or maybe a trade evolution? Um, I'm not thinking it's going to be anything super crazy like hold a certain item at a certain time of day when you level up. Um, but yeah. Alright, let's see. Oh, is this also part of your date? I might have to fight a couple more trainers down here before I can, uh... Hmm. Do I have to sneak up on this thing? No? Alright, well, whatever. Um, if this is also part of your date, I might have to go and fight a couple more trainers before I can go and fight that boss. Is this part of your date? This is part of Route 5. Alright, so I guess maybe there's more of your date that I just can't access right now because this is part of Route 5. Um, let's see. In that case, I have no idea where to go. Uh, what about this way? Is there anything down here? I think I haven't gone down here so far. I mean, yeah, I mean, whatever. Um, in that case, wait a minute, where is that trainer? Who said that he'd fight me if I fought everybody else in Route 5? Can I? Alright, I was. Another, a little trial of my own. Um, you've got a Z-ring of yourself, of your own, of whatever. Hmm. Alright, uh, I guess I'll narrate this, because it sounds like an important battle, or a semi-important battle, or maybe one that I'll just be able to get a lot of experience off of, as I've been hoping for for forever. Um, Slowpoke! Alright, I'm not sure if this is a thing I really want to be fighting with a uh, an Amazonian Salamander, but... Hmm, what's your level? So you're level 22, I'm level 21, we're fairly evenly matched. Um, Alright, uh, Bug-type, I guess, come in here. My team is fairly even in terms of levels. Everybody's low 20s right now, uh, since uh, Amazonian has been able to catch up. Let's see, you are going to be using a scary looking Z-move, Waterium Z, I suppose. Um, this may be wasting a bug type of mine, Shattered Psyche. Alright, so that's a, uh, that would have been super effective on Poison. This is going to be, like, Psychic type move, I guess. Alright, that actually looks fairly painful. That didn't do anything, considering how strong I was expecting that to be, that didn't do anything. Anyway, Bug Bite, I believe, is going to be the strongest move I have. I think, actually, I'm also part electric, so, um, this is going to let me gauge how strong that psychic type move was. Alright, so I think that was about 120, maybe 130 base power, that one move, um, because it did about twice as much damage, maybe a little bit less, as, um, as Confusion did, and Confusion is 60 base power, so maybe 110, 120. That's interesting. That's the first time I've been able to get a reading on how strong exactly a Z-move is, I think. But, um... Alright, that actually wasn't nearly as good as I was hoping in terms of experience, but it was definitely something. And, uh... Congratulations. You're not gonna give me anything as a reward, are you? Oh, that's TM96 Nature Power. That's, a, that, that's something, I guess. Um, I am going to want to go and, like, fly back with Charizard, right? Because I think it's gonna be a really long walk. Yeah. Alright, so I can fly back to here, can't I? Alright, let's do this. Yay for fast travel! And, like, good-looking fast travel, too. 
Okay, um, I can't remember if there was something else that I was supposed to be able to do with, like, flying Charizard, but this is a pretty good use for it. Anyway, I'm gonna want to go and heal, just because I'm right here.